Okay, so Waveshare have sent me this portable dual 18 and a half inch display and I'm really impressed with it. So I plugged in a nearly 15 year old 2010 MacBook and uh, it's working with this and it's giving me triple display. So if I grab this window, you can see that I can drag it over to here and up to here. Uh, if I drag that back, if I go over to this page, I can scroll up and scroll down on my web page and if I go up the top here, you can see I can flick through the store. Now my MacBook is pretty slow because it's this old, but it is working and uh, it's really impressive that a device with just one display can output dual displays. And the way it does it is it treats this as one display. So if I was to maximize this web page, you'll see that it'll actually fill the whole of this display, which also works well as well if you need a web page that is much more vertical. Uh, obviously you can stand this on its side to have two vertical screens as well, which I'll show in a minute. They are nice and bright, they're all adjustable, and I can even power them with a power bank, which I'll show later on. And the amazing thing is, if you work from home and you don't have a dedicated office space, if I just unplug this, just to spin it around, this is all it is. So if I drop this down, and then if I drop this down as well, that's it. So you just gotta find somewhere to put that when you're not using it, but to set it up, as you can see, super simple. I just had an HDMI cable in and a power cable, and that was it. Now this MacBook also has Windows on it. I think it's Windows 10 I installed a long time ago. So let's shut it down and I'll boot up in that. So if I boot up and press the Alt key, I've got Windows here, let's select that. And while that's loading up, let's set this up again. So just pull out this part and then flip it all the way up. Let's turn this around, pop in the HDMI cable and the USB-C cable to power it. And you can see Windows 10 has booted up. It's turned on one monitor, turned on two monitors. So let's go into display settings. So if I press the Windows key and type display. So I can swap these two over and put it to say here so that it's kind of mimicking how it is. Hit apply. And then if I move my mouse, you can see it comes over on this screen. So if I was to close this down and then, so this is just files and I can drag it and I can drag it up to the top as well. So even an old Windows laptop with just one HDMI output uh, will work with this display, which is super impressive. Right, what else can we plug into this? I particularly like this Raspberry Pi 500 setup. So I've got two HDMI cables going into the two HDMI inputs on the back of the monitor. I've got power to the Pi and also power to the monitor. You may have noticed at the start of the video that this display didn't look as bright as the bottom display. And I hadn't realized, but both displays have got their own little rocker switch. So if I tap the rocker switch, uh, we've got separate menus for each display. So these two are independent. And in fact, I've got the contrast a bit higher on this one, but they're very similar at the moment. So before this, I had both displays acting as one because I was using it on the old MacBook. But now I'm on a Raspberry Pi with two HDMI outputs. I've changed the mode on the display to make them independent. So this is display one and display two. So if I was to, where's my mouse pointer? Here it is. If I drag this right to the top, you can see I can snap that in place. Let's launch BBC Sport and scroll through that. But also I can grab all of these and snap them as if they're independent displays. And all of that is working as it should be. You have a bit of trouble getting it to snap in the middle um, because it goes between. It can never quite work out. Oh, there you go. So that's how you get it to work in the middle of the display. And because there are two displays but act as one, if I was to unplug this HDMI cable, so this is the second one. You can see that we've just got one here now. Let's put something a bit more uh, interesting on the display. So let's show the web page. Now, if I pop this HDMI adapter, because this is a phone that ha also has a desktop mode. So like Samsung phones or some Samsung phones have, this has wired projection and you can see that it comes up 
and if I tell it I want desktop mode, so I can now have something on the top screen independent from the bottom screen. So this is the phone's operating system, so if I was to play a YouTube video, now that's coming through, I can maximize that. So I can have video playing from this phone, but it's not taking any away the resources from this computer that I'm working on. So this one isn't impacted by the fact that this is playing a video. Obviously, if you've got a powerful computer, it can handle all of it anyway. But you could also be having a Zoom call on one while using another computer to work on as well. Now with this phone, I didn't really need to use the HDMI adapter because I can just use a USB-C to USB-C cable because these monitors have USB display input. It's charging the phone, but also will act as a display as well. And that's all controllable. So this is the mirror mode where both screens are the same, but the clever trick is if you tip this back, it automatically detects and rotates the display. So you can see here that this is the right way around. So if you're collaborating with someone and you want two people to see the same thing, then you have that option. Very good for salespeople in people's homes and things like that. Or could be good for some two player games because you get both to be able to be nice and close to the screen. And speaking of gaming, if we look at the WaveShare site, so the one I've been sent is the 18.5 inch monitor, and this is 120 hertz refresh rate, 60 hertz on the smaller one, so you've got a 14 inch and a 15.6. I like the idea of these as well, because obviously they're gonna be super portable. So as you can see here, driver-free connection, which gives you a three monitor setup. We've got dual 1080p screens, 100% sRGB with 10.7 million colors, 315 degree folding rotation. I haven't really mentioned the case, but it does feel pretty strong, pretty durable. So you don't feel worried about putting it in like a laptop bag or something like that to carry it around. Obviously, if you've got one big enough for an 18.5 inch display. Talks about high quality sound. I haven't done that. I'll have to have a look at that in a minute. Obviously, it mentions Windows and Mac OS. It obviously supports loads and loads more things. I've already shown Linux and I've also shown Android as well. Obviously, games, consoles, all sorts of things will work with it. There's the four different modes here, so duplicate mode, the extend mode, presentation mode, and merge mode. I think merge mode is the one that's impressed me the most. People who have got like a pretty basic laptop can all of a sudden have a triple display set up. So it talks about all the modes here. So duplicate mode, displaying the same content on both screens. Extend mode, so that's where it treats it as an A and B display, so your three monitors. Merge mode, which is where it just treats it as one monitor, but you can use that to use it like two different displays. And the mirror mode, which is automatic, I've just shown it where you flip it backwards and it automatically rotates the screen. And this is a good view of the ports. So we've got the two HDMIs, mini HDMI ports, two USB-C connections, and also USB-C for power input. And then on the other side, we've got these two rocker switches, which independently control things like color, contrast, volume, things like that. And then this one switches it between the various different display modes. So whether that's extend or duplicate, and then one that goes through the inputs as well, and a headphone jack. And one of the modes, which I haven't seen on their website, but I'd seen when I was looking at other things, was this one. So if it's in vertical mode, you can mount it, because it's got the visa mount on the back of one of the monitors, you can mount it to a desk or to a wall and be able to extend it like that. So really good for workspaces, giving you all sorts of options. So I've set it up here with a mini PC. So this is running Windows 11. And uh, I'm running the monitor purely from a power bank. So the mini PC is plugged into the mains, but the monitor is running from a power bank. So this would be a bit like uh, if you're out and about and you've got your laptop plugged in, so your laptop's got its own battery, but the monitor you need to power it somehow. So it's currently using about 16 watts, which will give us just over five and a half hours. And this battery is currently at 99%. So pretty decent with a good power bank. And I'm currently using this in the extended display mode, so just using one HDMI. But this has two monitor outputs, so I could have it as two individual monitors if I want. And that's a nice, neat setup and very, very easy to put away. And the box that it comes with can be used as temporary storage, so it's got all this foam packing in it. Very easy to just put it in there, especially with all the cables and everything as well. And you can just pack it away, and it even has a carry handle. But you would buy a case if you were gonna carry it around a lot. 
So I've set it up now with two vertical displays and a little Windows tablet. So this is the Chewy 12.9 inch. You can see the two vertical displays I've set up and also the horizontal display. And so I can flick between all of those screens. So it's on the TikTok screen on the right hand side at the moment. So if I hit play on that, you can see a very good big vertical screen to be able to scroll through my videos. And the sound is coming out through the monitor itself. And then if I go to the left hand side, I can scroll up and down on this BBC Sport page. But if I scroll down, I'm on the main Windows page now on this tablet. Okay, so this is Ubuntu running on the little Chewy 12.9 inch tablet. And as you can see, I've got it on three displays. If I start playing a video, just to give you an idea of the sound, that's the laptop at the moment. But if I change the audio source down the bottom here to HDMI output, it's definitely a lot clearer. It's not loud. Go back. Go back to the beginning. So it's not a high quality sound, but it is definitely usable and it's nice and clear and it's quite a bit better than the laptop. So thanks very much to Waveshare for sending me this to test. It's actually a really impressive monitor with loads of functionality on it. Thanks very much for watching. I hope this helps. Please like and subscribe.